Bro, how? The title of this video won't be exactly <laughs> right. It only updates every what? few minutes at most, and besides, YouTube what? doesn't update its view counts in real time anyway, so don't bother refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. You won't actually be able to see it ticking up second by second. If it's actually 100% spot on, it's a miracle, but if it's close, then the code I've written is still working. But at some point, that code will break and the title of this video will slip more and more out of touch with reality. This is the story of how I made that changing title work, <laughs> why it used to be a lot easier to make things like that work, and how all this ties in to the White Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> Here's the stuff to change. Here's my credentials to prove that I'm allowed to do that. Bundle that all up, send it over, and YouTube sends back a single answer. Hopefully, it's a response code of 200, which means OK, uh, with confirmation of what the video's data has changed to. But if there's some problem with that request, it'll send back some other status number and an error message about what went wrong. Uh, I can write code to handle those errors, or for something simple like this, I can just have it fail and log it somewhere so I can deal with it later. No typing, no clicking on things, no pretending to be a human. One request out, one reply back. At least that's how it's meant to work. This idea that web services call a little web page, uh, it'd show you the weather forecast by comparing it to a planet what? Star Wars. I had a million people visit that site in one day at its peak. Uh, a few people genuinely used it to get the weather every morning. I got lovely emails from them, and, and all the processing was done in the background through Yahoo Pipes. I didn't have to pay for some expensive server or pay for access to the weather data. There didn't seem to be any limit either. Yahoo just handled it because this was Web 2.0, and that was the right thing to do. And, eh, you know, they'll, they'll figure out how to make money later. Google Maps. Google Maps. That was free to build on too. World-class maps just to play with. I built a terrible racing game on top of it, put it in my own site, loads of people played it, I didn't pay them a penny. None of those free services exist now. And in hindsight, it was never sustainable. See, when Twitter launched, it wasn't pitched as just an app or a website. Twitter was a platform, a messaging service. You could use their website to read and send tweets, sure, or you could write code that used the API that looked at tweets that reacted to them or even wrote tweets of its own. It was so quick, so open that anyone with a little coding experience could make stuff easily. How? Everything you could How? do on the Twitter website. This doesn't or make later sense. On the How? Web, everything was available in the API for your code to play with. 